Hello and welcome back to the Center of Ruins. Uh, we still have stuff to do here. And other than just collecting draw points, because I don't remember what's in any of these. Okay, pain. Uh, I want that. Yes. Please, give me the... Ooh. Hmm. Actually, before I continue, we... Okay, well, two things, first of all. I've injunctioned... I haven't junctioned this yet, and I'm gonna want that. Like, I'm really gonna want that. Uh... And... Hmm. I mean... Oh, hey, take a look at that. Probably... Or to do that, that's pretty tempting. Uh, yeah, you don't need to hit hard. Throw death on, death on there, though. Uh... Oh, actually, no, I don't- I do not want death on here. Uh, I have a better place- oh, well, when you look, look at that, Demi's better anyway. Really? Huh. Go figure. But no, I want death, uh... Hmm. I want someone who is immune to death, is the thing. So, uh, let's, uh, exchange that to Squall? And Squall. Put... I mean, I like the Asuna, but no, you need to be, you need to be immune to death. Uh, I, I might be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure there's something in here that is, uh, that inflicts instant death. So, uh, better, better safe than sorry. <laughs> I can just climb down this ladder. I, I don't, I'm not sure this actually saves me any time, but we're doing it. I still don't care about Arrow. Uh, and the thing that I forgot to do is that I also want to actually... I want some level 3 magic. Uh, partially for junctioning, but... Well, I mean, yes for junctioning, but not to what you might think. Let's see... I want, uh... Can I... Oh... I thought I had a thing that I could make... I... Th I must have used it for something else, because I thought I had a thing where I could make Blizzaga. I mean, I can make it from the Wizard Stone, but that's not really my first choice. Well, okay, let's do that. Maybe it was this. Uh... Dynamo Stone. Sheer Feather, Windmill... Wait, it was Fire then? Oh, I can make it from the Phoenix Finion. Okay. Well, that that will have to do. We will give our Blizzaga to I have this stuff in the wrong damn order. You no, know, no, wait. Trade it first. We will give this to Why does he have Zell have drain? That's wrong. Uh no, that's Blizzara. Blizzaga. We'll give that to Wall, who is getting pretty full on magic himself, now that I look. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's fix that. Um, you should actually... Oh, I still have bio one. <laughs> no, I want Blizzaga here, because we're going to be... We're going to be hunting something that is weak against ice. Or at least according to my notes, it's weak against ice. Hopefully it's actually weak against ice. Uh, we're also going to put ice damage on you. Oh. Um. I guess I need to actually give you some blizzard first, though. I really wish I could make this stuff auto-sort. 
And Renoa does not d have elemental attack, because I've sort of slacked off on picking it up. Uh... Hmm. Okay, so... Here's the thing, um... Once I get down to the entrance, I, I- well, first of all, I'm gonna leave so I can go save, because we're hunting Tomeberries! Uh, and Tomeberries are really dangerous. Also, we can draw death from them. Uh, we might even want to do that, but, uh, also, we want to kill them really fast. It is... They have a lot of HP, they're really dangerous, and basically they will murder me. This is not the place to try to use, um, this is not the time for, uh, trying to draw magic. Although, although it is the time for trying to turn them into cards, because, man, I want, like, a bazillion ch ch chef knives. I can turn them into great ammunition for Irvine's Limit Break, which it just occurs to me, I still haven't actually used. I can also turn them into de the Death Spell, which is great for junctioning, apparently. Uh, and also, I need to kill... Oh... Up to... Oh yeah, like, here's the thing. You get almost nothing for actually killing a Tom Perry. <laughs> it... I don't actually need to card it, because it drops no XP anyway. Although, I'm gonna try to card it, because this card is really valuable. Uh... Huh, I guess I can't go that way. Uh, and it drops almost no AP, either. But, no, the reason we are hunting it... The reason we are hunting Tomberries is because after we've killed, oh, a dozen or so, uh, a special boss will spawn. It's sort of like a hunt. <laughs> and we really want to fight it, fight that hunt. Uh, but like I said, it's also really dangerous, so uh, let's save. Having said that, uh, I'm gonna do this for... until... Okay, actually I'm gonna do two things. First of all, I'm gonna replace Encounter None with Strength plus 40. Encounter Half, rather. It does not benefit me to have Encounter None on, because I'm trying to fight things. Uh, second of all, I'm gonna run around in a circle in the entrance. Probably might lose a seed level doing this. <laughs> Until I find enough Tomb Berries that I get the thing I want. And we are- there are other enemies here, but we are really likely to fight Tomb Berries specifically. Uh, so uh, having said all that, I will be back as soon as the- basically as soon as I get the special thing to spawn. So uh, see you in a couple minutes! Oh, this is something I forgot to mention. Uh, Tomeberries have a small chance of counterattacking pretty much anything with uh, everyone's grudge. Which is an attack that deals more damage based on how many enemies you've killed. Uh, meaning that, in this case, if it hits, well, Irvine will probably be fine, but Squall and Renoa will likely take quite a lot of damage from this attack. Fortunately, Renoa at least has HP to spare. Uh, also, I don't know if it can actually counterattack card. Like, my notes say that it can counterattack anything, but that doesn't necessarily mean literally anything. It might just mean actual well, d attacks that do damage. Uh, anyway, uh... We'll be back when we have the, uh, special encounter. Yeah.
Okay, we're back again. Uh, we still haven't found the special encounter, but the tone bear last tone berry graciously hit Squall into critical HP, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to try to show off one of his limit break finishers. There we go. I mean, yeah, that was pretty cool. And now you're a card! Uh, come to think of it, does turning them into cards actually count? <laughs> uh, well, we'll be back with the thing... Yeah, you know the drill by now. So, apparently, it doesn't actually work if you card the Tomb Berries. Uh, whoops. So, um, I'm a couple... They don't drop give any XP anyway, so it's not like I need to card them. But, uh, that does put me a little bit behind on the dozen or so I need to kill. Ah, <sighs> oh well. It also means I need to leave myself more vulnerable to that. I suppose if I really wanted to... Okay, that's, like, not even worth it. Renoa, you're not hitting hard enough. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess I could summon something with you. Leviathan! Uh, no matter what, though, this is probably gonna take me another 20 minutes. <laughs> like, I feel like this is gonna be a short episode... But it's gonna be a short episode where it took me four fucking ever to record it. I, which, I mean, happens occasionally. But Toneberries are tanks, and this one is spamming everyone's grudge. That's gonna kill Squall. Oh no, it didn't quite kill him. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna leave Squall like that so I can spam his limit break. It'll, this will go much faster if I can do limit break spamming. Uh, but anyway. This is like one down now because none of my other ones counted, apparently. And 9 to 11. Between 9 and 11 to go. Well, let's say 8 and 11. Probably 9 to 11, though. Probably just 11, really. Uh. See what I mean about clipping there? Yeah. That happens a lot with the Leviathan. Honestly, I think- I do think it's- oh yeah. Yep, you counterattack that. Yeah, it's just faster to just not use- to not attack for Nova. Now that I think about this, I'm pretty sure this is what I did the last time I did this as well. I just got Squall nearly dead so that I could spam his limit break. Well, anyway, uh, I'll be back when I have it, I guess. Finally! We got it! It's the Tombberry King! Uh, oh shit. <laughs> ah, here's the thing here. Uh, if we were level 30 or higher, I would be able to draw Kiraga and full life instead of life and cure. Now, I knew I would not be getting full life. Uh, but I kind of was hoping I would get freaking, uh, <laughs> I would get Kiraga. <laughs> so, uh, here's the here's what we're gonna do. Um, first of all, I will start off by saying, actually, it is really worth mentioning. Uh, full life is really damn good. Uh, 
you might want to do what I'm not doing and wait until you're level 30 to do this, simply so you can draw 300 full life. There will be other opportunities for it, which is why I did not do it here, why I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but it's something you might want to have on mind. Now, probably the most powerful attack this guy is going to do is the It's Sharp attack. Uh, that is like everyone's grudge, only three times as strong. Well, actually, maybe only twice as strong. Uh, looking at how much damage it did to Irvine. Like, uh, everyone's grudge, I want to say, deals the number of enemies you've killed times 20, whereas this is times 30. It's something like, it is a metric like that. I mean, he's dead. Uh... Fortunately, we have Renoa at full life. Uh, now, if she gets hit with its sharp, she will take a lot of damage, but it won't kill her, so she'll be fine. Um, really, though, even with... And this fight is basically a cakewalk if you're level 30 and you can draw those spells from it, because full life is OP. Uh, but even without that... Um, stop doing that! I want to use his Limit Break. I haven't used it on screen a single time, I think. But, uh, really, just the Tomb Raider King has tons and tons of HP. Which is why I don't mind keeping the low HP, uh, because we're gonna need to hit him a lot. Like, a lot. Okay, so basically, just spam the trigger button with Irvine. Oh, I killed him? Ha! Maybe... My level must really be low if that killed him. <laughs> okay, that literally took an hour, though. Uh, so remember when I said... 9 to... 12 Tomb Berries? Well, more like 20. Uh... Man. <laughs> but you know what? We just got a lot of AP, and we got Tomb Berry King! So, uh... Check it out. Tomb Berry King. It says it's level 30, but it's lying. Uh, if it was level 30, I could have drawn really good spells from it instead of the crap that it had. Uh... Oh. Huh. Oh. Well, I guess I may as well get boost now. What level are you? Nine. Hmm. Yep. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Oh, no. Not that one. Uh... That one. Okay, now, here's the thing. Tomber King does not junction a single stat. It gives evade plus 30 and luck plus 50, which are kind of interesting, and it gives these very useful abilities, luck up, or level up and level down, which cut the level of an enemy in half and double it, respectively, although they do not work on bosses. That's going to be important later on. Uh, but what it does do... What... What else it does is gives you, like, a bazillion very useful... <laughs> okay, we, we're gonna want this first, because it lets us buy stuff. This lets us buy stuff cheaper, and also gives another ability that lets us buy stuff from... lets us access any shop in the game from this menu, which is pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Tombberry King is awesome. We are gonna give it to you... We're gonna put hard back on. We don't... Okay, like, here's the thing. I'm pro probably not gonna use this much. They're really useful if you want to break the game in new and interesting ways, because you can use them to get spells from enemies you normally couldn't. Like, this... I used this once, and I can pro probably just about get a the Tier 2 spell draws from an enemy. Plus, it affects what they drop and what you can steal from them as well. 
but I'm not really that invested in that. I'm not that invested in breaking the game. Oh, I have magic bonus. Put that on. Uh, now. One more thing, then I'm gonna stop, because that took me four fucking ever to do. Uh, I was not joking when I said an hour later. Uh, we're gonna put that on there, because I'm gonna put, uh, triple on my magic stat. I think this is the best thing. Well, I could get more demi, I guess, but, uh... Let's also put life back on here. Or dispel? No. Reflect? Well, mm. I don't have dispel. Or no, I have life junction on. Wait, what? Mm. What did I have on here? I had berserk, didn't I? Whatever. Actually, instant 20% immunity to instant death doesn't sound so bad. But no, we'll do it like this. Uh, you're already set up. I'm gonna need to see if I can make some demi, actually, but, uh, one thing at a time. Uh, you have death as well, somewhere. Oh, I put you or death on magic. Okay, swap those. And with that, I- oh, wait, I almost forgot, actually. <laughs> Throw that one on there. I am so done with Tom Berries. <laughs> and on that note, we're gonna stop off here. Join me next time for, I think, more side quest stuff? Uh, yes, we have at least one more episode of side quest stuff before we get on with the plot. So until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>